Joint Cracking Cracking your joints is a common habit. Many of us do it. We crack our knuckles, fingers, toes, backs, and even our necks. What causes the sound when you crack a joint? When you crack your knuckles, you're pulling the bones slightly apart, which changes the pressure in the joint capsule. This change in pressure causes the formation of a gas bubble and when we bend the joint, these bubbles pop causing an audible sound. That's why we are not able to do it again right away. You have to wait for another 20 minutes to do it. It takes 20 minutes for the bubbles to form again. The movement of your joints, tendons and ligaments can also cause popping sounds. This happens when a joint move and causes the tendon to change position. It may make a snapping sound when it pops back into place. For example, snapping of the biceps femoris tendon over the fibular head. Is joint cracking bad for you? Can it lead to arthritis or other problems? The widespread notion that cracking your knuckles causes arthritis or makes your finger joints bigger is a myth. Cracking does no harm at all to our joints. What about neck and back manipulation? While it's probably okay to occasionally self-crack your neck or back, don't let anybody else do it for you. In general, you don't have enough strength to harm yourself as you cracking your neck or back. But if somebody else did that, he could apply too much pressure and cause injury especially if you have underlying problems in spine such as instability, or in vertebral artery like vertebral artery dissection or atherosclerosis. Vertebral artery which supply the brain runs through small foramens in cervical vertebrae. In some cases, cracking your neck too hard can damage vertebral artery. It can also cause blood clotting which can be dangerous as it blocks blood flow to your brain. If you are with a history of strokes, injuries to your neck, or problems with blood vessels, or taking blood thinning medication, you should avoid cracking your back and neck. When should you see a doctor? You should visit your doctor if your joint cracking is associated with any pain, limited motion, joint swelling, stiffness, or other concerning symptoms. Aside from the fact that knuckle crackling isn't bad or harmful, it can still be annoying to the people around you. Breaking this habit is difficult but not impossible.